Welcome to Video Culinary. I am Daniela. Today, Grandma Emma and I are going to make an easy chocolate cake. Make the chocolate sponge. Sift 180 grams of flour and 40 grams of cocoa powder into a bowl. Place 4 eggs, 4 egg yolks and 220 grams of sugar in a bowl and set over simmering water. Whisking constantly, bring the egg mixture to 43 degrees Celsius. Transfer to the bowl of a stand mixer. Whip on high speed until increased in volume and stiff. Add a pinch of salt and 2 teaspoons of vanilla sugar. Add the sifted flour and cocoa powder into the egg mixture in 3 batches folding gently after each addition. Mix some of the cake batter with 70 grams of melted butter. Fold into the cake batter until incorporated. Transfer to a 26 cm cake pan, greased with butter and lined with parchment paper. Bake at 190 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Test for doneness. An inserted skewer should come out clean. Cool slightly, invert onto a rack, unmold and cool completely for a few hours. Make the rum simple syrup. Place 100 grams of sugar and 100 milliliters of water in a sauce pot. Bring to boil, stirring to dissolve the sugar. Visit our website videoculinary.com to find other flavored simple syrup recipes like caramel simple syrup. Remove from the heat and cool to room temperature. Add 20 ml of rum and stir. Trim any uneven parts from the sides and top of the cake. Slice into three even slices.
Make the condensed milk and cocoa frosting. Mix together 200 grams of condensed milk with 30 grams of cocoa powder until smooth. Add 500 ml of heavy cream and whip on high speed until stiff. You can make your own homemade condensed milk. Visit our website videoculinary.com to get the recipe. Assemble the cake. Brush the first layer of cake with one-third of the rum syrup. And spread one-third of the chocolate frosting. Repeat with two more layers of cake. Smooth the sides and the top of the cake using a long metal spatula and refrigerate the cake for a few hours. Make the chocolate ganache glaze. Bring 250 ml of heavy cream to simmer. Pour over 250 grams of chopped dark chocolate and stir until melted and smooth. Visit our website videoculinary.com to find a chocolate mirror glaze and the shiny caramel glaze recipe. Pull the glaze to room temperature. To glaze the cake, place it on a rack set over a sheet tray. Pour the glaze over the cake and use a long metal spatula to spread the glaze over the entire cake. Transfer to a serving plate and refrigerate the cake. Pass any leftover glaze through a sieve, cover and refrigerate for a few hours. To decorate the cake, fill a parchment paper cone with 20 grams of melted chocolate. Remove the cake from the fridge and pipe stems. To learn how to make a parchment paper cone, visit the tricks and tips section on our website videoculinary.com. Remove the cooled chocolate glaze from the fridge and whip until stiff. Transfer to a pastry bag fitted with a small star tip and pipe flowers. Fill a parchment paper cone with 10 grams of melted white chocolate and pipe a dot inside of each chocolate flower. The cake is ready to serve. Enjoy! Thank you so much for watching, see you next time!